doesn't accompany one of their songs. Instead, it was made for the moody man of modern electronic music, the Aphex Twin. So, if Pulp made the video to On, how much input did Richard D. James have? There's nothing to do with me at all, really, apart from just the, you know, I just chose the style of video. Um, I didn't want any computer graphics. Uh, I just wanted it to be sort of all, sort of real things going on, and not, nothing sort of computer um, sort of produced. But does he like it? Yeah, it does the job. <laughs> the Apex Twin is Britain's premier techno innovator an electronics wizard who makes all his own instruments and has recorded some of the most haunting and original electronic tracks of recent years. He's also a man who doesn't like to sleep. Before I got really obsessed with music, I decided that I didn't want to be sleeping, you know, like a third of my life away, um, and just decided to cut it down. And it just took quite a while to get used to it, but got it down to two hours a night and then half an hour. The only time the Apex Twin does sleep is as a means of inspiration. The ideas for his forthcoming triple album came from a technique called lucid dreaming. And all the tracks were like 70% of them roughly were done asleep and then remembered and recreated in the studio. So this is quite a complicated process. I mean, it's something I've been doing, like practicing for years. And I've only like recently begun to do it for the last year. In the past, Richard D. James has recorded under a variety of pseudonyms as a means of sussing people out. Basically, by changing my name and working with, you know, sort of various circles of people, I was able to work out, you know, who was in it for the music and who was in it for the money. So, where did the name Apex Twin come from? I don't know, just made it up. So, it doesn't have any deep connotations? Um, not that I know of. And is it a misconception that there is another Apex Twin sitting in a bedroom somewhere playing with his keyboards? Yeah. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up. The Aphex Twin recently completed a tour of the States with fellow techno artists Orbital and Moby, something he enjoyed but has no plans to repeat. I wanted to like tour America. I wanted to play gigs and like I've done it and don't want to do it again. He also has a rather bizarre approach to playing live. I'd rather annoy people. You know, I get a bit scared when people start dancing and getting into it. I used to get a bit wide, a bit wide. And feels uncomfortable with the increasing number of Aphex Twin groupies who have begun to appear at his gigs. That kind of scene just really embarrasses me and don't like it at all. I just uh, try and escape. <laughs> I mean, it's my fault to do things like this and uh, get my photo taken all the time, but, you know, I just don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't really like doing interviews and uh, all the rest of the sort of showbiz kind of things, but, um, I do it for the same reasons I make records. I don't really like making records either. But uh, I do it all, really, so I can earn a living. I don't have to get a job, so I can get more time to make music.